Uh, greetings, gentlemen, ladies. Uh, in today's video, this has been my evening's mission, and I'm still a little little rough, so bear with me. But we're going to figure out how to export Mixamo animations uh, for your character creators for use in Unreal Engine. That's uh, that's uh, that's a whole bunch of things, right? Anyway, this is what we're going to start by doing: find your animation. Uh, click download uh, with skin. I've been exporting 60 FPS. I don't know, 60, 30. I don't know. I don't know. I've been doing 60. I think that's okay. Uh, from there, what you're going to want to do is open up your iClone. No, sorry, your yeah, your iClone 3D Exchange. That's step two. So if you have Character Creator, you probably also have uh, iClone 3D Exchange. If you don't, you're going to need it for this. Uh, this is the only way I figured out how to do it so far. So what I have done is I have, let's see, I'm just going to delete that. I have uh, now saved these two animations from Mixamo. And I'm going to go ahead and drag one into iClone 3 Exchange. It's going to ask me about this. I want to make sure to import the animation. Okay. It's going to ask me some stuff. I say yes. It's going to ask me some more stuff. I say yes, because I'm very agreeable. And from here, what we're going to just do is uh, choose the export to iClone option. That's the little icon right up there. Nothing else needs to be done. Um, you will click here. Uh, uh, this will generally, I think, be unchecked to start. So you'll click there. You will also want to not export geometry. Um, and then you can just go ahead and click OK. All right, so I've got that one exported. I'm just going to do the other one as well, just by going new. And then I'm going to grab the right turn animation, drag that in there. Same, same, same. Uh, I'm going to export to iClone. All same, same, same. Now I had to search out my iClone folder uh, default. Uh, I found mine here. All right, so I found mine in Users, Public, Documents, Reillusion, Custom, iClone 7, Custom, Motion. And then in there, you will see, actually, that's my old one there. I'm just going to get rid of that. That was one of my trials and test test ones. Uh, okay, so here's where we've got the FBXs from um, from our, our 3D Exchange export. Uh, from here... What you'll probably want to do is head on over to Character Creator 3, and then you can just basically go File, Export, uh, Send Character to iClone. Have I done that already? Yeah, I have done that already. I'm just going to actually do a new project here. Um, there's really no need to save any of these. It's basically just temporary use for the sake of uh, exporting the FBX, and then you kind of never need them again. So uh, File, Export, where, where was it? File, Export. Uh, I was just looking at, there we go, <laughs> send, send character to iClone. So I guess this should be the character creator to iClone to uh, Mixamo to uh, 3D Exchange to Unreal Tutorial. And this is why this is taking me a while to figure out because we're mucking around with five pieces of software. One of them being web software, but hey, close enough, right? It counts. Ah, all right, so from here actually very easy so this gets very easy right so now basically what happened when we uh, used this over here is this little thing when we dragged it into this uh, 3d exchange this converted it into an iClone character format just out off the bat just like that we dragged it in there it was an iClone character format boom done rigged or whatever set up in the right way and then the export to the iClone character format um, what we can now do here is we go file import uh, and we can find that, find that, whoa, find that, um, I don't know if you guys hear the sneeze in the background. That's my video game. I'm playing some Neverwinter Nights, and that's just the ambient sound in the background. So never mind about that. Um, let's see. So I have mine saved here under motion. So I'll start with the left turn. Now you'll get two of these. The, you got the take one, which I think is basically irrelevant. And then you have the actual actual one, which is the bigger file size. It's the uh, Mixamo.com one. So I'm going to grab that. And as you can see, that animation is now now there. It's now there. Um, 
The one thing that happened last time is I exported too many frames. So I guess I gotta figure out which, how many frames I wanna export. I, there might be an automatic way to do this. But it looks like frame 57 is my frame, my final frame here. There might be an automatic way to do this, and I might figure that out later. But uh, if you guys know in the comments, let me know if you figure that out. So now what I'm going to do is export FBX to the Unreal uh, Engine uh, 60 FFM. And I'm going to go range from 1 to 57 because I know that's what it was because I just counted it out. No need to do any of that stuff. Uh, and from here, actually, the one thing that I noticed that this was actually doing is it was exporting, like, uh, the character as well. And you might not want that. Um, there might be a way to just export the animation. Um, but I'm not sure where that is. But there might be. <laughs> In the meantime, this will work. You'll just have some, some extra files. So file, export, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and export that to... to uh, I'll create a sub subfolder in here. I'm just going to call that uh, iClone Exports. And that's our left turn. It's really a, really a lot of hoops to jump through, eh? It's crazy. Um, Okay, I'm just going to click OK on that. Because like I said, I'm pretty agreeable. Alright. Okay. Tickety tick. Blah blah blah. Ho 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 ho. Alright. Well, if I were, uh, if I wasn't feeling lazy, I'd probably edit the video here, but you guys can skip ahead if you need. Oh well, I think we're almost there. Okay, so now we got that exported. So I'm just going to fire up my Unreal project. Now I was pulling this into my uh, Unreal Engine 4.27 project because it's the one that has character creator set up. And here's one more hoop to jump through. Uh, basically, the character creator setup isn't in Unreal Engine 5 yet. So I think you have to do this through Unreal Engine 3 and Engine 5. I, I know it works through a new, you know what, let's do a, let's do a quick test. We'll do a quick test and see if I can just go directly into Unreal Engine 5 here. Don't mind the coughing, it's not actually a person, just a video game character. Yeah, you guys can see here, I'm playing some Neverwinter Nights. It's this lady here, she's coughing. <laughs> she's okay though. Um, let's see, import game into Mixamo, and now I'm going to grab, uh, grab the... Grab the grab the thing, the thingy thing. Mix the no iClone exports. Uh, left turn. So I don't know if this will work directly into Unreal 5. That's the little test we're doing here. If not, uh, we'll go back and do it in Unreal 4. If it works in Unreal 5, great. We're done. Um, we'll see. So I'm gonna uh, select my skeleton here. Your your main character skeleton. So I'm just gonna select that main skeleton to. Uh, to uh, connect that to you guys can check out the import settings here uh, of course we'll want to make sure to import animations um, and yeah you can just kind of pause the video and make sure you've got all your settings the same as mine here mine are mine are all just saved from the last time I did this go ahead and click import all and I don't know if this is gonna work yet we'll see we'll see in a minute if uh, we if we can bypass because like I say um, Unreal Engine 4 has the CC auto setup rigger, but we might already be set up and rigged from iClone. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So we're about to find out. I really don't claim to understand what the heck is going on under the hood of all these different softwares that the poor game developer has to Mickey Mouse around. Okay, that's not a good sign. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that is a sign of failure. On the other hand, I do see the model there. Is she... Oh, she's just moving. Oh, she's moving. Oh, okay. Okay, well... Maybe... Maybe that's okay. Maybe she worked. Um, so we got the left turn skeletal mesh. 
which I don't think we need. I think we. Do. I think I just want the animation straight up here, and it seems to be okay. Boom. So maybe that's it. I'm gonna play around with that. That could be all she wrote. Um, what's that? I don't know what that is. I don't think I need that one. Um, so, uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say, if you have any trouble with this, try first putting it into your UE4 2.7 project that you have CC, the character uh, creation auto configuration uh, installed into. Now, I already had a character pulled into my UE4, uh, UE5 project. I already did an import of my iClone, or my uh, character creator. I just, you know, I already had my character in there to start. So if you don't have your character in there to start, first get your character in there, and then you can in import animations for her, and of course, choose the skeleton that you want to have uh, the animations attached to, which will be your iClone character. But basically, character creator is basically you export, uh, 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 if, if you haven't already done this, you just export FBX close character to the uh, to a preset of Unreal, um, yada, 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 there's the settings, and then you just pull it in with the same import settings that you saw a second ago for the animation. Uh, minus the animation part, you can take it or leave it. There's not going to be an animation attached, so it doesn't really apply. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. Uh, and then, like I say, if you have to go from Unreal 4 to Unreal 5 in that way, if, if there, for any reason it doesn't work right, you can just migrate the folder, right-click, migrate the folder into your UE5 project, and it should be configured. But it seems to me like it's working. Whatever that error message was, I don't know. I don't read error messages. I just cry when I see them. Uh, but yeah, okay. All right. Hey, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Future me. When you forget what you're doing here, I hope you appreciate the extra effort I put into so I could remember what the heck I did to make it work that time. All right. See everybody later.